Hi ladies, it's Beth from Be Styled and it's time for Tipsy Tuesday. And this week we are talking about the fan favorite shirt, the button down. I know a lot of you love your button down shirts, as do I, and I want to talk about about four different ways you can kind of zhuzh up a button down shirt so it can really stand alone and look great as is if you don't feel like layer, layering it. As the warm weather approaches, hopefully, I want to show you how you can wear a top like this as is, okay? And some things you can do to make it a little more interesting than just the standard button down. Okay, first thing I'm going to show you is the best way to cuff a button down shirt like this. This is a great trick. Um, I think it might be the J. Crew method. A lot of a lot of um, stylists use this. It's a great a great tip, and I'm going to just show you really quick how to do it. It's very easy. If I can do it, you can do it. You're going to take make one big cuff, about six inches long, up your arm. Okay, so one big cuff, and then you're going to take it and you're going to fold it up again, cuff it again, just a couple inches. It's going to about my elbow. Okay, so now I have a second cuff, and then I'm going to take this flap, the top of the shirt, top of the, the sleeve, and I'm going to just fold it down. And it makes a really cool, modern-looking way to cuff your sleeves instead of just rolling them up or shoving them up, okay? So that's my first tip. My second tip is I like to actually unbutton, leave this button unbuttoned. Now, don't go crazy. I'm not, you know, like, you know, showing it, showing it all, so to speak. But I like the way it looks, having it slightly unbuttoned. It stays closed, but it just, I just personally prefer it that way. If you don't like it that way, that's fine. But that's another thing that I do. You know, I also like to slightly pop the collar a little bit, um, just a little bit. That's another tip. And one of my favorite things to do with a button down like this is instead of a necklace, I love to wear a pair of statement earrings, a bold earring. These are great blue earrings that I got the last year, I think, from Stella and Dot. They are not available anymore, unfortunately, but Stella and Dot always has a really cool earring like this at any given time. So does Bobble Bar. You can find them at um, like Francesca's in the mall. Something fun, something that's cool looking. And I just think with the collar and you know the the conservative preppiness of the shirt and then a little bit of a flare with the earring is just a fun look now last but not least i want to talk about the tuck i have it untucked right now which is fine you could tie it i love you know especially in the summer with white jeans i'm wearing white cords you could you could unbutton the bottom buttons and tie it at your waist um, but i want to show you also how you can do the half tuck with a button down um, doesn't work with all button downs, but with this one it does because this is a fuller cut kind of boyfriend style button down. Um, now you'll see J. Crew. I, I, this is a this is a cool look. I don't think I can pull it off personally. I, J. Crew does this all the time. The half tuck, like literally the half tuck, where one side is in and one side's out. I just I, I think it looks cool on some people. I, I don't think I'm cool enough to pull it off. So what I do instead is a, tr a traditional front tuck. And I kind of blouse it out a little bit. So I just put the front of the shirt in my waist and then I leave the rest out. So there's kind of that gives it that high low. It makes it very comfortable. It's not clinging anywhere. Um, it's comfortable and cute and flattering. And that's it. All right. So button down shirts re restyled for you. Okay. That's your tip for the week. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. I will post links below. If you haven't joined the March Just Get Dressed Challenge, I highly encourage you to do so. We are only on day two today, so you haven't missed much at all, and you'll have access to the two formulas we've already done. But this will give you an outfit formula to wear every day of the month of March, Monday through Friday. Okay, and we're having a lot of fun. It's a great group. So I encourage you to join. I'll post a link below to sign up. All right, you have a great rest of your Tuesday, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.